Let's review the display cursors on a graphing calculator. When you turn the graphing calculator on, you'll see this flashing solid rectangle. And that is the entry display. So the calculator is now ready for an entry. Whenever you hit second, this is to access all those little commands, in this case in blue, the little commands above each button. Right, you can see them here and here. You know you've hit second and you're in that mode if you see a flashing arrow right here. Likewise, if you're trying to access the alpha commands and you hit the alpha button, in this case my alpha commands, you can see them a little bit, they're a light green. You know you're accessing the alpha commands if you see this flashing A right there. And to get that flashing A, you just hit the alpha button. And you'll see other commands, I mean other flashing icons as well. For example, if I'm entering a number, right, and I make a mistake, of course you, when you do this you don't have to clear the whole number, you can scroll back and insert. So the insert icon, if you hit second, in this case delete, that gives you the insert operation, you know you're about to insert a value if you see a flashing underscore right here, you see that flashing underline. And you might be using a second or alpha command while you're inserting something. So if you press second, here instead of an arrow like before, since you're inserting um, something, you're going to get an underlined arrow. If you hit the alpha, you get an underlined A. The only other icon you might see that's quite common is like a, f a checkerboard. So instead of the initial flashing rectangle, if you see a flashing checkerboard, uh, that's the icon that is indicating your memory is full. Um, so, anyway, yeah, so those are the basic display icons. Hope that helps.